Bastion time, and welcome to Nintendo News. I'm your host, Bastion. Let's get to the first story. So lately, it's uh, been all the rage to badmouth the Wii U in the media. Um, however, an EA employee took to Twitter and said all kinds of things that, really, as somebody who develops games for the Wii U, he probably shouldn't be saying. Uh, so, realizing that, he promptly deleted all of those tweets, but the uh, owner of Go Nintendo has archived those, um, and so you can still read them if you're curious about what kinds of not such great things this guy had to say about the Wii U. Uh, go ahead and click on the link down below. So in the previous Nintendo News video, I talked about how Amazon um, has a tendency to just sort of make up information for their game listings. For instance, for the Adventure Time thing, they randomly pulled November 12th out of their behinds for the release date. Well, for Earthbound, which, as I understand it, is just going to be a digital download. It's a virtual console title, right? For the Wii U, uh, Amazon UK has it listed as a physical copy at full Wii U game price, a full $50, I think. So, yeah, they, I don't know what they're up to these days. There has been a lot of conjecture regarding a comment that Nintendo released wherein they said, you know, if you're looking for us to do our usual big presentation streaming thing at E3 this year, well, this year we're going to be doing something a little different, and then out of nowhere, everybody took that to mean there's not going to be a Nintendo presentation at E3. Well, then they came forward and said, well, hey, wait a minute now, we will be having a presentation to the media, a presentation to, um, to our shareholders, and then also a presentation to the, the fans out there. I don't know how people took that to mean that they weren't going to be doing any kind of presentation. Of course they're going to do a presentation, but anyways, they have just now said, as I'm recording this video, we will be doing a an online streaming video thing for you guys during E3, during the very first day of E3, June 11th, 7 a.m. Pacific time, there will be an E3 Direct, so I hope that that calms everybody down. I mean, obviously Nintendo was going to be doing some kind of streaming presentation for the fans. They, they would be crazy not to, so they are, don't worry. But the amusing thing about that date and time is that just two, uh, three hours after they do that, they're also doing their presentation for the media, for which I'll be present, I'll be at E3, so I guess I'm going to be watching their uh, presentation to, you know, fans on my laptop while I'm waiting in line for the media presentation, which will probably be about the same thing. I, I'm not really sure why they're doing it that way, but whatever. I'm, I'm down. It's cool. If you've been holding off on picking up your copy of the Wii U and you only want the basic bundle version, you're in luck. Instead of $300, Target has dropped it down all the way to, I think it's... $240, so a $60 price drop? That's pretty awesome! So if you don't already have the Wii U and you're gonna need one for Wind Waker Remake, now you can pick one up for pretty cheap. Some very interesting news that concerns the Xbox One is that according to Amazon UK, since the announcement of Xbox One, the Wii U uh, sales have skyrocketed. So I'm not sure if that's a case of people waiting to see what Xbox had to offer and then thinking, Eh, I think I'll stick with the uh, Wii U. Not really sure what that's about, but anyways, it's pretty cool, and that's it for this episode of uh, Nintendo News. See you guys tomorrow for one of the Let's Plays. Uh, see you then. Bye, guys.